Greetings and praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Somebody give God praise. Amen. We are so happy and excited again to be here at Pentecostal Faith Assembly Church. I'm Pastor Brenda Cuthbertson, and I want to welcome you to our worship and word service. We are a Pentecostal apostolic congregation located in the northwest section of the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we are right at the intersection of Penn Street and Pulaski Avenue. And we appreciate your joining us today as we come together again with songs of praise and worship and a word from the Lord. So we're so glad for you to be with us. Tell your friends, tell your family, invite them to join us on social media as we share the word of God each week with you. We want you to join us, if you will, in our litany of worship. This is the Lord's house. We give him praise, glory to the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's day. We honor him, glory to the name of the Lord. We are the Lord's people. We serve him. Glory to the name of the Lord. All praises, all honor to the Lord our King. Glory to the name of the Lord. Every week, I take the time to let you know that you have an opportunity to make your prayer request known unto God. And if you have a petition, a request, I want you to know and believe. Have faith. Know that God hears prayer and that God answers prayer. Time does not permit us to call everyone's name, but we want you to know whoever you are, that we are praying on your behalf and I know that the God that we serve knows where you are, what your needs are, and God can and will supply. So we're getting ready to go in prayer. And as I have spoken and as I'm speaking, just make your request known. Tell God what it is you desire, what it is that you need. Tell God about it. And now... Let us pray. Gracious God, because you are awesome, you are holy. Lord, you are our God. Without you, we can do nothing. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to come into your presence again. Lord, you have invited us to share our petitions, our requests and desires, and we thank you for that. Most of all, God, we want to thank you for life. We thank you, God, for health and strength. We thank you because you have kept us. We thank you because you have looked out for us. We thank you. Lord, you have sent your angels and allowed them to watch over us, to keep us from hurt and harm, and even in the midst of danger. We thank you, God, because you have heard our calls and our cries. We give you praise because you are awesome, you're wonderful. And God, we know that you deserve our praise. Today, God, as we come before you, we pray that you would hear us, Lord. We pray that you would build our faith. Help us to believe that you are able to do everything that you've promised. Oh, God, there is no failure in you. Lord, we pray today for souls everywhere. We're asking you, Lord, to remember their needs, and we know that you're able to meet them. According to your riches and glory, you can supply. We pray, God, for every soul that has called upon your name, and even for those, Lord, that don't know you. We're asking you, Lord, to bless the believers, and, Lord, to help the unbelievers. We're praying, God, for governments and officials. We're praying, Lord, for parents and children and guardians. We are praying, God, for leaders of the faith. 
for those that would minister today and share a word with your children. We are praying, God, for homes and houses and those places where your people are sheltered. We're asking you, God, to continue to keep them protected. Oh, God, we know that you can do great things. There's nothing too hard for you. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus, help us to continue to call upon your name, knowing, God, that there is power and authority in your name. We thank you for all things. Thank you, God, for the activity of our limbs. Thank you for being able to move about. Thank you for being able to lift you, God. Oh, God, we pray that you hear us and help us. Lead us and guide us. Heal us, Lord. We know you can do it. You're the great physician. Oh, God, you're the mighty shepherd. Oh, God, we thank you. We pray that you would lead your people. And we ask, God, that you remember the request that we have placed before you. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Visit every home. Visit every institution. Visit every hospital. Visit wherever your people are. And let your will be done. And we ask, God, that you hear this prayer and continue to let the words of our mouths, the meditations of our hearts, be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, because you are our strength and our redeemer. In the blessed name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Our scripture reading today, if you will join me in Psalm 24. Psalm 24, I'm going to read it in its entirety. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory, Selah. May the Lord bless the reading. May the hearers thereof be blessed. This is the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, somebody give Hallelujah. God some praise. Glory, Jesus. Come on, the song says, Lord, you Hallelujah. are good, and your mercy endures forever. Somebody say, Lord, Lord you are good. You are your mercy, and your mercy endures, forever. endures forever. Come on, wherever you are, come on, help us to sing this song that says, Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good, and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good, and your mercy endureth forever. People from every nation and tongue from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are. We 
It's offering time in the Cyber Sanctuary. The Lord loves cheerful givers. Pentecostal Faith Assembly Church has multiple ways to receive your donations 24-7. Download our church's app on your mobile device. Find our PFAC logo at the Apple Store and Google Play and follow the instructions. Give online through our website at www.pfachurch.com. Text the keyword P 
PFA Church to 77977. Or you may mail us at 5347 53 Pulaski Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19144. You are invited to refresh your day with two minutes of inspiration with Bishop Cuthbertson every evening at 714 p.m. Find us on Facebook at Pentecostal Faith Assembly Church. We are cooperating with current government recommendations, limiting sizable gatherings in an effort to hinder the spread of the coronavirus by suspending all activities at the church facilities until further notice. Follow us on social media for updates. We encourage all who can and will join us on our Wednesday 6 a.m. prayer call. Begin your day with prayer. Call in at 1-605-313-4113 and enter access code 570-016 and press pound. You'll be glad you did. That's 1-605-313-4113, access code 570-016 and press pound. Please keep the number. It is our conference call number. Bishop Cuthbertson would like for all ministry leaders to continually keep in contact with members and others during these difficult days of separation. You can replay our services online at our website, www.pfachurch.com, or locate us on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and YouTube, where you can subscribe to our page. Bishop Cuthbertson has received and prepared a word from the Lord just for you. So stay tuned for the message of the day. your hands. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try, cause you've been so good. Oh, let's 
just bless the Lord together. So many doors you've so opened. Many doors you've opened. So, many so many ways you've made. Ways you've made. So, so many times you've been better than good to me. Been better than good to me. So, many so many doors you've opened. So many ways, so many ways you've made. So, so many times you've been better than good to me. So many doors you've opened. So many ways you made. So many times you've been better than good to me. So many doors you've opened. So many ways you've made. So many times you've healed me. You've been better than good to me. Better than good to me. Better than good to me. so glad that I know God is good. He's so good. Better than good. You know, what do you say about a God who's so good? Except I give him thanks and I give him praise. We thank God for our praise and worship team. Certainly they continue to bless us every time we come together in worship and word services and I'm thankful for them and I pray that you are as well. I want to encourage all of you to continue to join us every week and be blessed of the Lord and if by chance uh, perhaps you might uh, come on a little late and think that you have missed our services, you have not, you can go back and you can replay at any time these services and you can listen over and over again to the wonderful worship and praise team and also to the word of the Lord. So I thank you for joining us. Don't forget, as I've said, we are located here in uh, the Germantown section of the city, which is the northwest section of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are at Penn Street and Pulaski Avenue, and we are here because we love the Lord and because we give God tremendous praise for who God is and what God does and the fact that we are the Lord's people. We dedicate this service to those of you who have not been able to perhaps meet in person and whoever you are, we want you to know that God still has our backs, amen, and God is going to make a way for us eventually to be able to come together in person. Today, as we move into the word of the Lord, I'm going to ask you to join me in the 24th Psalm, once again, Psalm 24, rather. Join me in Psalm 24, and I'm going to read the first verse, Psalm 24, verse 1. The word of the Lord reads, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world 
and they that dwell therein. God, we thank you for your word and we thank you just for the privilege of being able to share this word with your people. We ask God that you speak. We ask God that you declare unto us what you want us to know and to hear. We ask God that you help us to hide this word in our hearts that we may not sin against you, but God, that we will have what we need, be fed by your spirit, fed by your word, kept alive in you. And for these things, we give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. The word of the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Our text today gives us this subject. Whose world is this? Whose world is this? In reading the passage, I know uh, that you perhaps have your own understanding of the answer to the subject or the question that has been placed before you. Whose world is this? The earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof. The world. And they that dwell therein. The earth, if you believe God's word, you will come to the conclusion of whose world this is. Uh, the earth according to Genesis. The Bible tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. According to Job, if you read in his book, if you read the Psalms, you'll see that it is God who laid the foundation. It is God who founded it upon the seas. It is God who established it upon the floods. The earth is God's footstool. It's full of God's riches, God's mercy, God's glory. The earth and everything that is therein, everything, all that is, in the earth, in the world, was created by God to give God the glory. The world, the planet, the universe, the heavenly constellations, the inhabitants of this world, yes, the people, the lands and the seas, should all stop and take time to glorify God, because I believe that this is the Lord's world, and at least I believe that this was God's plan, that God be glorified. But as we look around, we have to wonder what has become of what God created. What's become of what God set in place. What have we done to God's earth, to God's world? I dare say that we have savaged and we have ravaged what was loaned to us. And sadly now, we find ourselves paying penalties and reaping what we have sown. Now, we're attempting to try and put some things back in place, or at least trying to survive. That's the reason we recycle, because the trees have been destroyed in astronomical numbers. Lands and landscapes have been decimated. And where there was beauty, we find often there's just wilderness, wildlife, 
which we find sometimes to be so beautiful to look at, we find that they are in constant danger of extinction or being placed on display in our zoos and places like that. Industrial chemical toxic wastes are unregulated. Diseases are steadily becoming more virulent and difficult to manage and control. And then there's the constant fighting that goes on among people. God's creations, fighting, fussing, bickering, hating on one another. All of this is physically and emotionally exhausting. What are we doing to God's world? Do you know whose world this is? This is God's world. This is not what God intended for us. And my friend, we've got to stop and take the time and ask God for help. Lord, we need your help. We need your mercy. When we look around, we see what is going on in the world today, the weather, the storms, the wildfires, the floods, the quakes, the volcanoes, the tsunamis, the disease, the violence. All of these things are going on in the world. God did not, God did not intend for all of this to take place. God's intention was that his creation would give him glory. God didn't have to send catastrophes or allow catastrophes to get our attention. But my friend, I dare say now, God, you've got our attention. What we need to do is to ask God to forgive us. Lord, this is your world. Forgive us and tell us what we need to do. But then again, when I think about it, we don't even have to right now ask God to tell us what we need to do because God has already given us the command in his word of what we should do do. It is time for us to acknowledge God as the creator and acknowledge that as the creator, he is above the creature. It is time according to the psalm that we have read earlier in our service today, it is time for us to clean our hands. Amen. We've got to have clean hands. It's time for us to cleanse our hearts. It's time for us to do away with vanity. Vanity must go. It is time for us to seek God as never before. Seek him because the word tells me that if we seek him, we will find him. After that, we have searched for him with our whole hearts. It is time for us to acknowledge that he is the God who can speak to the storm. Our God can speak to the wind. Our God can speak speak to the rain. Our God can speak to the disease. Whatever it is that God has to speak to, this world is God's world. And if we would put ourselves in the right place, doing the right thing, then this God, this same God who can speak, the same God who has permitted these things to be is the same God who can speak and master the elements. I heard in the word of God, amen, where Jesus spoke to the wind. He spoke to the waves. He mastered the tempest. When he spoke, the winds and the waves obeyed his will. My friend, we've got to ask God to forgive our 
arrogance. We don't own anything. This is God's world. We didn't create anything. God created it. We didn't put anything in place. God did. And my friend, because this is God's world, we've got to ask him, Lord, speak not only to the wind, not only to the waves, not only to the storm, but speak to our hearts. Speak to our minds. Lord, if you speak, help us, my God, to do your will. Command us, my God, to follow your word. For we are yours, Lord. Everything belongs to God. Everyone belongs to God. We dwell in the Lord's world. We dwell in what God has created. We live in God's world. We live in what God has created. And Lord, we are yours. We cannot make it without you. But Lord, we need you. Please live in us. Come in to our hearts. Come in today. Come in to stay and come into our hearts and Lord Jesus and help us and to always know and that this is your world and oh God and we are nothing and without you and we cannot make it and without God and but with God and all things are possible and with God and on my side and with God and directing my path with God guiding my footsteps with God helping me I know I can make it Lord this earth is yours the fullness is yours the inhabitants are yours we're yours Lord just have your way and let your will be done my God people we've got to acknowledge that we have Amen. Just can't do it uh, of ourselves. Uh, we can't do it uh, on our own. Uh, but I know a God, uh, and I want you to know Him too. Uh, amen. He's a God uh, that hears prayer. Uh, he's a God uh, that answers our call, uh, not because uh, of who we are, uh, but just because uh, we belong to Him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, stop acting like. Uh, you're in charge uh, because I want you to know uh, that we're not in charge uh, of anything uh, but my God uh, has got it all uh, in control uh, hallelujah uh, the psalmist uh, called him uh, the king uh, of glory uh, I call him uh, king of kings uh, lord of lords uh, I call him uh, by his name uh, Jesus the Lord God, hallelujah, who's able to do above what I ask, what I think, what I imagine, what I dream of. I call him by his name, and when I call him, I know he answers. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage everyone to believe that God is the one who's in charge. Uh, that God is the one uh, who's in control uh, and that this world uh, is God's world uh, and since the world uh, is God's world uh, it's time for us uh, amen uh, to bow uh, in humble obeisance uh, unto God uh, and saying Lord uh, have your way Lord uh, let your will be done uh, Lord uh, you're in charge uh, lead me uh, guide me uh, direct me uh, and God if you do uh, then I know I can make it uh, amen uh, so stop acting like you own something uh, hallelujah uh, just because you think you do uh, doesn't mean that you do uh, but my friend uh, we are here because of God uh, God uh, amen created this world uh, 
and he created it for his glory. God created you and God created me. He created us for his glory. So what are we going to do? We're going to give God glory. And in spite of everything that's going on around us, we're going to trust God and we're going to trust God again. And we're going to trust God again for greater things. Yes, my friend, that's what we're going to do. I want to say to anyone who is under the sound of my voice, who has yet to realize that you're not here on your own by yourself. Ah, oh, but my friend, you need God. You need him in your life. And you might wonder, how do I receive him? How do I get God in my life? What you do is is you obey the word of God. Amen. God sent his son. Amen. He sent the Lord Jesus that you and I might have an opportunity to be saved. Jesus instructed his disciples. He instructed those that were following him. Gave them direction. Told them what they needed to do. They continued to pass that word down to us. The Bible says we are told to repent of our sins. Amen. To be baptized according to the scriptures. And then, my friend, we follow that with a holy life. Amen. That's just clean, living clean, living clean, living clean. Hallelujah. Can you live clean? With God, you can. And when you recognize that this is God's world, amen, then my friend, you will turn and you will honor God for who God is. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for the acknowledgement of who you are and what you have done. We thank you, God, for knowing that this is your world that we don't own anything but God all things are yours we thank you that you have considered us Lord you've kept us you've blessed us you've watched over us you fed us when we were hungry you clothed us when we were without clothing Lord you provided a place for us to lay our heads Lord we give you thanks and if there are any God who feel that they don't have what they need you have promised in your word to supply our needs according to your riches in glory Lord you are our everything and we need you we pray that you would encourage your children to call upon your name for there is authority, there is power, there is help in the name of the Lord Jesus. And through that name, we know, God, that we have what we need. For these things we thank you. For these things we praise and honor you. In your blessed name always. Amen and amen. The blessings of the day be with you. Keep praising God, keep honoring God, and keep aware of the fact that the earth is the Lord's. This is God's world. And my friend, remember what you're going to do. What shall we do? Trust God again for greater. God bless.